Well, hey, we didn't get shit on tonight. Islanders lose 5-3 to three to the Colorado Avalanche. Now, you might be wondering, why is this video being uploaded today? It's Thursday, and we're playing the Canucks today. This video was filmed on Tuesday, but I'm banned, so it's being uploaded Thursday. Write that down. Anyway, we actually look good tonight. I thought we were going to get the fuck slapped out of us tonight, but uh, we actually look pretty good. Islander goals tonight from Pollock, Pajot, and Palmieri. Three Ps. <laughs> Interesting. Anyway, Islanders' next game is Thursday night against the Vancouver Canucks. We're back at home. I'm not going to be home for that game, by the way. I'm going to be at James's house for the post-game video. I'm not going to be in the studio. And that's the reason I'm not doing a two-for-one special for this. Anyway, let's go, Islanders. Actually, for the next two games, I'm not going to be in the studio because I'm going to be in James's house Thursday, and I'm going to be at UBS Arena for Saturday's game. Let's go. Islanders lose 4-3 to three to the Vancouver Canucks. Why does this team suck? I know, right? <laughs> anyway, it was a Varlamov game. That's the main reason they lost because... Actually, they tried tonight. They had a lead in two different ch times in this game. But they, they just couldn't get it done tonight. Varlamov gave up two goals that ultimately lost us the game tonight. Put this all on Varlamov. He's the reason we lost tonight. Islander goals tonight from Dobson, Bolvillia, and Palmieri. And come on. I don't want to be, be in a bad mood tonight. KJ McCoy's coming tomorrow, man. Come on. Anyway, Islanders' next game is Saturday afternoon against the Blues. And... Your boy's going to be there, and so is this dumbass. <laughs> anyway, good night, guys. A whole bunch of content coming for you guys this weekend, by the way, because your boy KJ McCoy's coming. Yeah, let's go Islanders. Nice win by the guys today. Islanders win 2-1 to over the St. Louis Blues. And I'm just going to say right now, before I get into my thing, thanks to everybody that came to see me at the game today. You guys are amazing, and I love you guys. Anyway... Islanders played a great game. Elias Sorokin should have had a hat trick in this game, but uh, yeah, that didn't go well. They scored in like the last two minutes. Eh, everything will be great. I wish KJ McCoy was here though. Oh. Oh, cool, he's here. What the hell am I doing in New York? All right, what the oh. heck? Islanders won. Great game, and the Flyers won too. Yeah. I ain't no fake fan. Islanders won, guys. Let's go. I just got right in the face too. Did you watch that video? That video is on KJ's account it's on right my, now. Yeah, my account. Okay. Yeah. Out, guys, it's freaking awesome. Yeah, we'll I see you guys later. Out. Let's go, Islanders. Well, at least we got closer after I made that video. <laughs> Maybe the video I made made them just say, "All right, guys, we got to score some goals now." Anyway, it wasn't enough though. Islanders lose five to four to the Colorado Avalanche. Now, before you say anything, we weren't supposed to win this game. The, the Colorado Avalanche. Our number one, numero uno in the National Hockey League. We are not supposed to be beating them. But the both times we played them, we got close, though. We got close to beating the best team in the National Hockey League. And that's why a lot of people underestimate the New York Islanders. Because we nearly beat the best team in the National Hockey League in both times we played them. Islander goals tonight from Sezikis, Nelson, and two from Anders Lee. The second of which being his 200th career goal in the National Hockey League. Congratulations to you, my captain. Islanders' next game is against the Blue Jackets. Let's go, Islanders. Well, where was that all year? Islanders win! 6 nothing over the Columbus Blue Jackets! Wow! I, that is, that is, was amazing tonight by the Islanders. What a job by the boys tonight. What a great offensive showing tonight. And your boy Elias Sorokin picks up shutout number six on the season. And the boys get a well-deserved win against a team we're trying to catch in the wild card right now. What a job tonight by the boys. Islander goals tonight from Nelson, Bailey, Peugeot, and a hat trick for Anders Lee. Congratulations to the captain on his hat trick tonight. Anyway, Islander's next game is tomorrow night against the Winnipeg Jets. And you see the optimism on my face as Semyon Varlamov is probably going to start that one. Whoopee! Anyway, let's go Islanders! Looks like the boys are getting into a groove. Islanders win! 5-2 to two over the Winnipeg Jets! Very impressive game tonight by the boys. You guys look good. Semyon Varlamov actually looked good tonight. And, we actually, and Varlamov gets his first win in nearly over two months. Great game by the Islanders tonight. 
Islander goals from Nelson, Lee, Clutterbuck, and two goals from Josh Bailey. Maybe Bailey's responding to all the criticism about him because Bailey wasn't that good now. And last couple of games, he's gotten three goals now. So that's pretty good for him. Anyway, Islanders' next game is Sunday night against the Anaheim Ducks. Can we make it three straight? Let's go, Islanders! The boys continue their winning ways. Islanders win! 4-3 to three over the Anaheim Ducks! This one was a great one. This one was a tough one, too. Wasn't that tough playing these guys when we played them in Anaheim, but tonight, you could tell Anaheim was more in their game tonight. Islanders look good, though. Ilya Sorokin playing really well despite giving up a couple goals. And I got to give credit to uh, to Gibson real quick. I have uh, John Gibson. That's his first name, right? So anyway, he made an amazing save that robbed Kyle Palmieri of a hat trick tonight. Just got to give him um, some a lot of credit for that save. What a save, buddy. Islander goals tonight from Parisi, Lee, and two from Kyle Palmieri. Great job tonight by the boys. And now it gets a little tough as now our next two games are road games against two of our biggest division rivals. The first of which being Tuesday night against the Washington Capitals. Maybe we can beat them. Hopefully. Let's go, Islanders. Well, thus ends the winning streak. But, hey, point streak still alive. Islanders lose 4-3 to to the Washington Capitals in a shootout. You all know I hate that word, but hey, didn't go too bad tonight. We now have three shootout goals on this season. You can see my optimism. Also, hello, Instagram. You're getting to see this tonight. TikTok, you're not going to see this until Thursday. Thanks a lot, community guidelines. Anyway, Islander goals tonight from Palmieri, Nelson, and Lee. What a job by the guys tonight. Just They just couldn't get it done, though. Also, congratulations to Alex Ovechkin on... Break, passing Yarmir Yager on the uh, all-time goals list. Now he's got 767 career goals. Anyway, yeah, tough loss, but hey, still have high hopes. And now, next game, St. Patrick's Day, Thursday night. We play the Rangers. Come on now. If we can beat the Rangers, I will actually, I will clown Rangers fans in an entire three-minute TikTok if we beat them on, on, on Thursday night. Yeah, so anyway, let's go Islanders. <laughs> I love it. Let me first start off by saying Islanders win. Two to one over the New York Rangers. <laughs> oh, Ranger fans, you see what it was like when you play us at full strength? <laughs> let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I told my dad during this game that, uh, Whoever has the better goalie was going to win tonight, and uh, I think Igor Shesterkin played great, but come on. Elia Sorokin maybe just had the game of his life right there. Made some insane saves. He did give up one to Kreider. Props to him scoring his 40th goal of the season, but come on, man. Sorokin played the game of his life right there. Islander goals tonight from Palmieri and Lee. Lee continuing his goal streak. Islanders next game, Saturday afternoon against the Dallas Stars. I'm going to that game. Let's go, Islanders! Woo! Finally out of that arena. Damn, it's a pain in the ass getting out of there. Anyway, Islanders win! 4-2 to two over the Dallas Stars! You know what? I'm going to continue this back at the house. Hold on. I'll be right back. And we're here! I teleported here. Anyway, back to the game. Islanders played a great game tonight. Semyon Verlamo was on top of his game, and what a job by the offense today, too. Thanks again to everyone who met me today. I am so blessed to have you guys, honestly. Also, thanks to Isles Girl 3, too. She, she, I, this is the first time I met her. That's why I was so, like, spazzy in the video. Yeah, so, yeah, if you just want to wonder why I was so, like, awkward and spazzy, yeah, that's why. Anyway, Islander goals today were from Pollock and a hat trick for Brock Nelson. What a job by Nelson. Islanders continue the point streak. Anyway, Islanders next game tomorrow afternoon against the Flyers. We should be able to win that one. It'll be a sweep over the Flyers. Let's go, Islanders! Well, thus ends the point streak, and thus ends my beard. But, uh, that's beside the point. Anyway, Islanders lose 2-1 to one to the Philadelphia Flyers. And, by the way, I didn't just shave the beard now. I shaved it last night and, uh, didn't have an opportunity to make a video until now. So, anyway, good game to the Philly sports guy. Kinda hot KJ McCoy, all the Philly people. You guys finally were able to beat us this year. Eh, uh, good game, guys. Anyway, yeah, you could tell. They look tired. They, I, I mean, they just played yesterday. 
So, uh, before you get on them for losing today, just remember, they just played yesterday. And, yeah, everyone's probably still tired. Anyway, Islander goal today was from Casey Sezikis. I think it was Casey Sezikis. Hold on. Yep, I was right. Casey Sezikis. Anyway, Islanders' next game is Tuesday night, back at home against the Ottawa Senators. We should be able to win that one, hopefully. Let's go, Islanders. Ah, let's go. We got to win. Islanders win! 3 nothing over the Ottawa Senators! Semyon Varlamov played a really great game tonight. A shutout. I mean, yeah, he only faced 24 shots. But still, it's impressive. Usually, when they play like this, they usually give up a goal or two to a shit team like Ottawa. Anyway, Islander goals. I gotta look this up again. Hold on real quick. Islander goals tonight from Parisi, Lee, and Mayfield. And the Islanders' next game is Thursday night against the Detroit Red Wings. Hopefully we can finally beat those guys for the first time this year. Let's go, Islanders! The boys are rolling. Islanders win! 5-2 to two over the Detroit Red Wings! What a job by the boys tonight. Once again, boys are at the top of their game tonight. Nine seconds in, we started the scoring tonight. Luckily, my buddy was in his seat by then. <laughs> Ilya Sorokin again. Good performance, even though he gave up two goals. Islander goals tonight from Beauvillier, Wallstrom, Bailey, and two goals by Brock Nelson. Nelson's been on a roll lately. He had a hat trick the day I went last Saturday, and he's, he's just been rolling. Anyway, Islanders' next game is Saturday afternoon against the Boston Bruins. Hopefully we continue our stretch of owning them. Let's go, Islanders! Well, it was bound to happen. Islanders lose 6-3 to three to the Boston Bruins. And, uh, yeah. Beat them the first two times, you know. So, hey. Do, you do you. I am not considering this a bad loss. In my opinion... Excuse me. In my opinion, a bad loss is when you lose by more than three goals. And we only lost by three goals. So, uh, I consider this not a bad loss. If you lose by, like, four or five... Yeah, it's a bad loss, but uh, if you lose by, like, one or two or even three, eh, you came to play at least. And unlike the Bruins fans the first two times we played them, there is no excuse for why we lost. We lost because we sucked today. Islander goals from Nelson, Lee, and Parisi. Good to see Brock Nelson get his 30th. Anyway, Islanders next game is tomorrow against the Tampa Bay Lightning. Well, I didn't think we were going to win this one. Islanders lose 4-1 to one to the Tampa Bay Lightning. Eh... At least we don't get to see the Lightning anymore this year. They, they have our number, honestly. I think the Tampa Bay Lightning, honestly, have our number. No matter when we play them. We can play them, they'll be dead last in the league, and we'll be, like, first in the league. And they'll still beat us somehow. Like, the Islanders were clicking in the first half of this game. Nelson got the first goal, but then for the rest of the game, it was all Tampa. Sorokin didn't show up for the third period because... I think he. I think they put him in concussion protocol because he was taking a lot of shots to the noggin during this game. Islander goal today was from Brock Nelson, number 31 on the season. He's doing well. Brock Nelson, I hope he gets to 35 or 40 by the end of the season. Anyway, Islanders, next two games to end the month of March will be against the Columbus Blue Jackets. One in Columbus, one home at UBS Arena. Let's go, Islanders. Well, the boys played well tonight. Islanders win! 4-3 over the Columbus Blue Jackets. What a job by the boys tonight. Great job. Brock Nelson scores again. 32 on the year now. And these guys just overall did a great job tonight. I was worried, though, that the Blue Jackets would come back in the end. But, hey, now that we won, that whole worrying thing is over. Islander goals tonight from Nelson, Bailey, Beauvillier, and Parisi. Nice to see some of these guys get some goals. Anyway... Islanders' next game is Thursday night against the Columbus Blue Jackets. Hopefully, we can win again. Let's go, Islanders! All right, another win. Islanders win! 5-2 to two over the Columbus Blue Jackets. Well, they played a good game tonight. Great job. They scored two goals in the first period. I don't know what the hell happened to them in the second period, but hey, they rebounded in the third period. Great job by the boys tonight. Semyon Varlamov's been good for us lately in Sorokin's absence. So, yeah. Islander goals tonight from Wallstrom, Palmieri, Polak, Barzell, and Sebastian Ajo with a goal tonight. Funny enough, just a little after 
our Sebastian Ajo scored. The Sebastian Ajo and the Hurricanes scored. So uh, that's a little weird, but uh, very not very confusing, though. It's very confusing to other people, but not confusing to Islander fans, though. Anyway, excuse me. Islanders next game tomorrow night against New York Rangers. We can take the season series lead in that one. Let's go, Islanders!